Hi everyone, this is your facilitator Dozaman and I welcome you to my channel The Chemist Chemistry. In today's video lesson, we are going to talk about the importance of studying chemistry as the main objective for the lesson. Is it even important to study chemistry? This is what this lesson seeks to achieve. And under that, we will be talking about the importance of chemistry under medicine, agriculture, industry, and finally, in our everyday life. So let's begin this lesson in the name of our Savior Jesus Christ. Chemistry has played a lot of major roles in our lives. As a matter of fact, I can boldly say that without the knowledge and the concept of chemistry, our life here on earth will not be easy as it is now. So let's talk about the importance of chemistry under the field of medicine. Now, under the field of medicine, the first point that I want us to talk about is Chemistry have helped in the manufacturing of life-saving drugs, which are disease-preventing serum and vaccines. So maybe you're not feeling well, went to the hospital, the doctor prescribed some drugs, and you, 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 you got them, took them, and you were healed. All the drugs, the pharmaceutical drugs, came about as a result of the knowledge and the concept of chemistry. Now the next sec second point that I want us to talk about is anesthetics and antiseptics. Now when we talk about anesthetics, anesthetics are drugs which when injected into the body or when taken into a, the body of living organism, what it does is that it affects the sensory nerve of that organism. In other words, the body will, will lose its sensation. So maybe you've had an accident before, you went to the hospital, you were in pain, then all of a sudden you experience a sharp pain as a result of an injection. Then afterward, you, you, were, you didn't sense any pain. Then you were asked to stand up and leave. And when you realize the wound has been dressed and you are not feeling any pain is because an anesthetic drug was injected into your body specifically it may be that aspect of your body where the, the wound was uh, or where the accident okay and that was the reason why you didn't experience any pain and at the end when the the, the drug um, finished its activities Within that part of your body, you see that the pain will come back very good. So I want you to imagine if there was, wasn't any pain like that, how will it be? Look at the pain that you go through before that wound will be treated. We just bless God for the knowledge of chemistry. Now, when you talk about antiseptic, antiseptics are also drug that inhibit the growth of disease-causing microorganisms any microorganisms that have the potency to cause sickness or disease in our lives what the antiseptic does is that they inhibit the growth of those organisms in other words they made our body an unfavorable atmosphere for them so that they cannot grow there they cannot multiply in order to increase the effects and the dangers that they are causing to our lives the third point is disinfectants and germicides. Disinfectants and germicides. Now, when we talk about disinfectants and germicides, what these drugs also do, or what they does is that they also fight against the growth of um, germs, fungi, and any other microorganisms that have the potency to cause harm into our body and our lives yes maybe today is your first time hearing of microorganisms when we talk about 
micro something is micro it means that that thing cannot be seen or cannot be observed with the aid of our, our eyes unless we use a microscope so i want you to take note of that microorganisms are not visible to our naked eye we can only see them with the aid of a microscope all right let's move to the next point which is industry under the industry two chemistry is used in making synthetic fibers like nylon it's one of the fibers that is common and popular now the second point is chemistry is used in making plastic like polythene we in our everyday life you almost use polythene every day especially when you go to a shop to buy something most of the time they wrap the package in a poly bag and you send it to your house the third point is chemistry is used in making paint and dyes we have been painting our houses and other um, things that we have and the paint came about as a result of the knowledge and the concept of chemistry same as dyes the fourth point is chemistry is used in making cement and glass now cement is a powdered bounded material and specifically it is mixed with water and sand for construction purposes the fifth point is in the extraction of metals like silver magnesium gold and iron the knowledge of chemistry is being applied in all these areas in order to make our life here on earth an easy one as a matter of fact uh, we, extraction of metals is a topic that we will be treating in our subsequent lesson and when we get there I'm going to explain to you how chemistry is used or is applied in extracting all these metals from their various ores all right o r e s ores that is the source of all these metals let's proceed to the third aspect which is agriculture in agriculture also chemistry is used in making chemicals like urea ammonium sulfate all these are fertilizers for crop production very good so this enhances the growth of our crops and it, it, it aid or increases in the production when we apply these fertilizers and the, all these fertilizers came about as a result of the application of the knowledge and the concept of chemistry the second point under agriculture is chemistry is used in making insecticides such as ddt paratheon and malathion we have other ones as well um what the insecticide does is that they fight or they kill they destroy any insects that will try to affect our crops or your crops very good so all these um insecticides uh, such as ddt paration and malathion were all manufactured with the aid of the knowledge of chemistry thirdly chemistry is used in making preservatives like sodium benzoate we have the salicylic acid for food preservation in other words they are preservatives when we add them to um, food it's enable the food to last for a longer period of time maybe the food can last for a day then it will spoil but when you add these preservatives into the food it help prolong the food you can keep it for a longer period of time and use it for future and all these drugs came about or all these um, preservatives came about through the knowledge and the concept of chemistry so i want you to ask yourself without chemistry how would our life here on earth be huh, glory let's move on last part is in our everyday life in our everyday life chemistry is used in making domestic soap we need soap to wash to clean to bath and do so many things shampoos cosmetics dyes and oil we need all these cosmetics some of the products like pomade that we applied on our on our skin to enhance our skin shampoos that we use to bath all these oils they all came about as a result of the application of the knowledge of chemistry 
Secondly, chemistry is used in making air conditioning and refrigeration. Now, I don't know the kind of fridge that you are using or the air condition, but I would like you to do this observation for me if only you have any of these gadgets. Look at the back of it. You will see if it is fridge or air conditioning, you see either uh, LPG or uh, butane, pentane, any hydrocarbon. Um, when we talk about hydrocarbon, hydrocarbon is any compound that consists of only hydrogen and carbon atoms only. And under the chemistry of carbon and its compound, we will be talking about hydrocarbon as a main topic, which is something that um, we will learn in the future. So, in today's fridges and air condition, all these hydrocarbons are the gases that are used and not the chlorofluorocarbons, which is the CFCs, because the CFCs have a dangerous um, um, activity when it's being expelled or exposed into the atmosphere. What it does is that it reacts with the ozone layer, causing ozone layer depletion. So, because of the knowledge and the idea and the discovery of the fact that the ozone layer depletion is caused by the CFC, it is no more used in as a gas in our refrigerators and our air condition, but rather we use the hydrocarbons like pentane, butane, methane, and etc. As we proceed, you know what all these gases, all these saturated hydrocarbons, what they are. The third point is chemistry is used in the extraction of petrol, diesel, kerosene, and gases which are needful in engines and stoves. Now, I don't know, maybe in your home you have cars or you have um, any gadget like um, like stove, like the generator. All these gadgets need fuel for their operation. I want you to imagine if there is no petrol, no diesel, no kerosene or gas, how will traveling be? Maybe you have to journey from a place to another place. We have to either walk or use horses. But let's ask ourselves, how many people can even afford a horse? But with the aid of all the, uh, chemistry, we have been able to come out or extract all this petrol, diesel, kerosene and gases from the crude. And as a result, we use them to fuel cars, vehicles for transportation. We use them in our stove, in food preparation. We use them in our motorbikes. We use them in our generators for electricity um, generation. You see, so all these things came about as a result of the knowledge and the concept of chemistry. So this is where we will end this lesson for today. And mind you, I want you to know that chemistry also have dark side. There is a disadvantage in studying chemistry. The, the knowledge of chemistry has led to the production of or the manufacturing of nuclear weapons, which are very dangerous. When the one is released into a continent, it can even destroy the entire continent. I don't want to mention countries who are into um, that, but I would like you to take note of the fact that chemistry also have dark, dark side, which is not the objective for today's lesson. But I just want you to have the idea that indeed we have a dark side or disadvantages also in studying chemistry. So this is the end of the lesson. Your assignment is to mention an important each of chemistry under medicine, industry, agriculture, and domestic use. And I also encourage you that this is not the only importance of chemistry or uses. We have a lot of them. So read more on the importance of chemistry. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a good comment. And please click on the notification bell so that any time that a new video lesson is uploaded, you will be aware of. Stay blessed.
for more video lessons.